Yes, yes, yes. Corruption runs rampant within the Obama administration, but what else could we expect? If you thought it couldn't get any worse, Jack Lew for Treasury Secretary. Well, well, well. Let's go and see who Mr. Lou really is. He's been nominated to replace Geithner. In just a very short while, Geithner's going to get out. He's done enough destruction. This guy's supposed to finish the job. <laughs> Labor Secretary Hilda Soldis announced she would not return for a second term. White House said three other cabinet members will be staying. Uh, the corrupt Attorney General Eric Holder, who Obama swept all his misdoings about the fast and furious gun running, put that under the carpet for him. Veteran Affairs Eric Shinis Shinseki, and Human Health and Human Service Secretary Kathleen Sebelius. Mr. Liu, on many, for many years, over the years has worked on a budget battle as an aide in both Congress and the executive branch. He was an aide to Tip O'Neill back in the 80s and he was a subordinate back then. He worked inside the Reagan White House on the Social Security Agreement of 83 and the tax overhaul of 86. as a budget advisor to Big Bill the Liar Clinton. He worked with counterparts to House Speaker, House Speaker Gingrich during the fiscal disputes of the 90s. And whenever they want to give accolades to Mr. Big Bill Clinton for balancing the budget, you must remember that Republicans held a majority in the Senate if that matters at all, if they both play for the same master. Oh, he's been the budget director for Obama and for Clinton. And the mouth of the White House, the paid hack Carney, has said that the Treasury Secretary's primary goals are economic growth and job creation. Jeff Sessions of Alabama said he would attempt to block his confirmation saying he misled Congress about this administration's plans to reduce the national debt. Now I do remember seeing that and I do believe that they're showing a clip of it now. When he was Obama's budget director he said during a congressional hearing our budget will get us over the next several years to the point where we can look the American people in the eye and say we're not adding to the debt anymore we're spending money that we have each year really 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 well if we're not adding anything to the debt why is the debt up since 2011 then Jack everybody remember that uh, <clears throat> Obama put forth his own budget and what was that score? Golly gee, what, wasn't that like 98 against it and zero for it? He couldn't even get his own people to vote for it. It was so terrible. Eh, let's see. Sessions also said to look the American people in the eye and make such a statement remains the most direct and important false assertion during his enti entire time in Washington. Uh, before he moved to the White House in 2010 to serve as budget director, he was De deputy secretary of state for management and resources, giving him exper oh boy, experience in international economics. And he made him the chief of staff early in 2012, replacing Daly. Okay, so we'll go over here to Wiki. Look a little more into Jack Lou here. Oh, he's from Harvard. He was uh, born in New York. And let's see what we got down here. 93 to 94, special assistant to the president under Clinton. 
responsible for policy development and the drafting of the National Service Initiative in AmeriCorps and health care reform legislation. Hmm. He left in 94 to work at the OMB Executive Director, Executive Associate Director, and Associate Director for Legislative Affairs from 95 to 98. He served as Deputy Director of OMB there. Of OMB there, he was Chief Operating Officer responsible for the day to day management of a staff of 500. He served as a member of the administration negotiating team regarding the Balanced Budget Act of 1997. Between the Clinton and Obama tenure, after he left public office, he was the executive vice president for operations at New York University, clinical professor of public administration at the Wagner School of Public Service. In 2006, here we go. Get to some meat and potatoes here. Chief Operating Officer of City Groups, Alternative Investment Union, a proprietary trading group. The unit he oversaw invested in a hedge fund. The unit he oversaw invested in a hedge fund that bet on the housing market to collapse. Uh, Am I getting that right? The unit he oversaw took money and made a bet that the housing market was going to collapse. And if it did, they won their bet and they made money off betting that things were going to explode and it would collapse. He co-chaired the advisory board for City Year in New York. Oh boy, there's that place again. He's a member of the Council on Foreign Relations, the Brookings Institute Hamilton Project, and the National Academy of Social Insurance. <clears throat> 2010, he replaced Peter Orzag for the OMB, Office of Management and Budget. Budget. Let's see. An op-ed in the Huffington Post, which is pretty liberal, very liberal. Mr. Liu cited top administration priorities to achieve deficit reduction, including 400 billion in savings from non-security discretionary spending freezes, 78 billion in cuts to the defense, returning to the Clinton era tax rates for the top 2% of earners and lowering, well, what do you know, lowering the corporate tax from 35 to 25. Well, for every nine things he does wrong, he actually puts half or one thing in there that would be worth it. Let's see. Last year, on the 9th of January, Lou had replaced Daly as the Chief of Staff. His nomination was followed by criticism. After renewed reports, he received 900000 in bonuses while working as CEO, COO of Citigroup, following their $45 billion in TARP bailout rescue funds after it saw $27.7 billion in losses. Only a 90% depreciation in value. And he is an Orthodox Jew, which goes on down here at the bottom. Say, extensive connections in the American Jewish community, and he might be able to help President Obama, Obama build a more friendly rapport with Benjamin Netanyahu. Well, that's just fodder there for me, because I don't think Mr. Obama has any desire to strengthen a relationship with Israel or the Jewish community. So there is a bunch of more information on Mr. Jack Lou. Or you could slang him and call him Jack something else. <laughs> but that wouldn't be nice, would it? So what you see is another buddy. Hey buddy 
want to climb on board and help me rape the American economic system some more fill your pockets with some more cash like he did whenever he was over there betting on the housing market to collapse whenever he made that speech in Congress and said uh, the budget was going to keep us from raising the deficit you'd be able to look the people in the eye and tell them that we were spending within our means mm-hmm and you think this man is not corrupt Democrats or whatever there's corruption everywhere Republicans Democrats independents uh, you name it it's all over the place we got him back in here for four more years so the wrecking ball is still wrecking things um, gee gas has come down some but I don't see a lot more people going to work where I'm at. I don't know where you're at. You have to fill me in if you see a whole explosion of jobs that people are beginning to get. And the wage that they're being paid is going up to be a livable wage to where you can live and actually accumulate some savings. So, we have the coin that I just put the video out about the magic coin we're gonna make a trillion dollar coin and we can borrow against that worthless coin but we'll just print a trillion on it and then we'll print out a trillion dollars and then we'll stick Jack Lou in there and he'll say yes it's a cool thing to do and boy we'll be on the road to recovery financially won't we we're going to see how they spend this. <clears throat> Hopefully they'll make it extremely difficult for this man to be placed in, if not rejected fully. And we'll just have to see who he comes up with next. Well, I've got some stuff on Hillary Clinton. I want to remind people on it, so I'll be putting up a video real soon about it. Billary Clinton have it up in a while. Talk to you soon.